We've already discussed promoting your value adds in your messages, in all messages, not just automation. These messages are no exception. However, ask yourself what prominent value adds would be most appealing for shoppers still on the fence. Maybe a sense of urgency or fast selling products along with your free return policy? Sure, free shipping may be important, but the customer hasn't picked out a product yet. And at this stage, maybe focusing on product quality or showcasing customer top products will be more impactful to these shoppers. The other decision is how specific you want to get with your email copy. For product abandonment, because the email is focused on a single product, you can be as helpful and specific as you'd like, such as baking steel griddle caught your eye. But this may not be the case with browse abandonment. Imagine receiving a message like, check out our top rated sweaters. This message is relevant, but may look like a message you might send on any old Tuesday, which is just fine if you don't want the customer to know you're checking in on their web activity. From a personal standpoint, I wouldn't worry about being too specific. If the message is relevant to me, that's what matters. By knowing the category of products you're concentrating on, inserting products and images into the email should be a breeze. If sending browse abandonment messages, I would focus the message on top rated products in the category and what makes them so special. Thinking to myself, what would make them want to revisit these products? If sending product abandonment messages, you know there's a little more specific interest, but price may not be the obstacle. I would focus on the core features of said product and make them work to say, no, I'm really not interested. While there is no right or wrong, choose the option that matches your brand style. If you're unsure and are looking for a place to start, I defer on the side of being a little more generic than specific. The next step is to choose your incentive strategy. Because these messages are in the middle of the customer journey, many brands struggle with whether you should offer discounts in them. There are two schools of thought. One school is to discount in order to pique their interest and drive them back to the website. The other says not to discount because they're just browsing and cost isn't necessarily the obstacle. Both are valid and I've seen brands take both approaches with success. My recommendation when starting out is to not incentivize. After all, gather discount-free baselines and test adjustments if and when necessary. Now, one word of note, if you routinely send discounts in your schedule campaigns, you're not losing anything by adding them to these messages. In fact, it might look odd if you don't. 